Hi, my name is Freeman Moser, Senior Executive Chef at Kraft Food Service. Today I'm going to show you a very simple technique, caramelizing onions. We use caramelized onions at Kraft in a variety of burger builds. They add a sweet and savory component and it really pumps up the flavor. First step in caramelizing an onion, of course, is getting it fabricated. There's a large variety of ways to fabricate onions. I'm going to show you my favorite. I take through the core, go right down through the center, and then I'm going to remove that root just a little bit so that I get nice uniform pieces. And then what makes the way I fabricate these onions just a teeny bit different is I use what I refer to as a radial cut and it makes for a more uniform piece. Here's what that looks like. So we go in about this angle and then we just start straightening up our knife and by the top I'm almost vertical and then just continue around. Now if this gets a little clumsy for you don't be afraid to just lay the onion over and then you can come in and you've got a much flatter surface. Now what a lot of chefs do is they take that onion, hopefully they're going to remove this core, but they just go straight down through the onion. Now I want to show you how the cuts that I've made are going to be a lot more uniform by, by using that technique. So if we look, we can see how uniform those pieces are compared to an onion where I just went, went straight through. I just think it yields a much nicer result. So to begin caramelizing our onions, first thing we're going to do is I want to just show you, we're going to use pretty moderate heat. If you try to caramelize over this high temperature, you're, you're really just going to burn your onions. So I use a very, very moderate heat to begin this process. I have a olive oil here. Now I'm not using extra virgin, although you could, but I just like to use a nice pomus olive oil. And we don't want too much oil in the pan or the onions just really get too fatty. So just enough to really coat the pan nicely. Now if when you add the onions to the pan, the first thing you hear is sort of that crackle sound of a saute. You know you've got your oil in your pan way, way too hot. We just want to start these things off really nice. So just you can just see what a, what a nice um, gentle beginning these onions are going to have. And then I just toss them a little bit just to kind of evenly, evenly coat with oil. Okay, at this phase, um, some chefs add sugar. I don't like to add sugar at all. I think it speeds up the process unnecessarily, really changes the characteristic of the onions. Um, so I want to clarify that because what I'm doing right now is I'm adding salt. And as we know, what salt does, other than adding the flavor to the, to the onions, it draws moisture out, which is what we'd like to have happen to these onions as they begin to caramelize. So we can see at about five minute mark, we've got the moisture coming out of the onion nicely. Caramelization hasn't begun yet, but uh, we'll, just, we'll just let them be a little bit here. So here we are about 10 minutes into the process. And you can see we've got some caramelization beginning in the onion. So here we are at about 20 minutes and we really have some beautiful caramelization beginning in the onion. Okay, we're at about the 30 minute mark and you can see we're really getting some beautiful caramelization. Now I could pull them right now, but I like to take them just a little bit further. Okay, we're at about the 45 minute mark. You can just see how beautifully these onions have, have caramelized. One thing you've probably noticed is the reduction in overall volume of the onions. And you're just having that because the moisture is, is being released. So I think at this point we're done. Now that you've caramelized those onions, I've got a great recipe on our website that you can source. Just look for the maple bacon burger with white cheddar, mushrooms, and caramelized onions, and bullseye original bold barbecue sauce. Another great sandwich to use those caramelized onions in is a grilled cheese and veggie sandwich. It's also one of our healthy living recipes. It uses a multi-grain bread, some Dijon mustard, and Kraft shredded Monterey Jack cheese. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that was helpful. Go to craftfoodservice.ca for more recipes and ideas. And while you're there, be sure to sign up for Craftworks. 
It's our exclusive online program designed for food service professionals.